Hi, and welcome to week, I think it's 84, of uh, living with Alzheimer's. And I've, I've only just watched last week, so I should know what it is, really. Um, having a bit of trouble again with these um, uh, the, the, the cameras and things. They are a nuisance at times um, for me, but, uh, but never mind. This week, uh, I want to talk a little bit about depression. Um, I get asked quite a lot. Uh, you know, do you ever get depressed? I, I get quite a few messages about people whose husbands, wives, uncles, aunts get depressed with, with dementia and how do I keep very, very positive? Uh, it's, not, it's not easy, if I'm honest. I think that one of the key things is, and I don't think that this is something that maybe people often think about, um, the, our partners or people from the outside who are looking in on dementia, you know, how can I put this? I miss the person that I was. I miss all the things that I did. I miss being me. And I think the thing is, the reality is that, 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 that people with dementia come from all, works of, all walks of life. Um, surgeons, solicitors, engineers, uh, builders, um, I, you know, I, I ran a timber business. We come from so many different walks of life, professional people, non-professional, but we all had lives that dementia has changed <clears throat> for us and our families. And I really do miss me. I miss what I was. And I'm sure that other people, um, carpenters, miss making things. They miss the the detail that maybe they did. And I think it's it's something that I want people to try and understand that looking back at the past is is a good thing to a degree but also I look at all the things that dementia has taken away from me all the things that have disappeared in my life um, <coughs> over a relatively short space of, of time only a matter of a, about a couple of three years um, not able to work and not able to drive and then all of these things and it's very difficult to keep positive it's very difficult to to put a brave face on it i suppose i put a bit of a show on as i think all of us do but i think that sometimes you've got to put yourselves in the place of somebody like me um I don't know, let's just say if you were a legal person, a solicitor, and you've, you've gone all around the world or you've fought big cases, and then you end up with this dementia, and you can't do the things that you did. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's very difficult. It's as though somebody was to come along into your life and, and take all the things away that you done so well and that you were used to doing, and, and left you with all the rubbish, really. Um, and that's, uh, that's sort of the, uh, the reality of it. But then, you know, I have to keep positive. Cycling, as you know, keeps me going. It keeps me, I don't know, it keeps me fit, keeps me healthy, and it, it, gives, me, it gives me a focus. Uh, doing the television uh, uh, documentary, that has given me a focus. It's, it's important to have things to focus on. Our professional lives were something that we focused on. So... We have to focus on a new profession, if you like, a profession called living with dementia. And it is a full-time job. It's uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And that is the reality of it, not just for us, but for, for everybody else around us. So I don't really know if I've answered the question about how I deal with depression, because it's, it, it's a very difficult thing to deal with. Uh, I can tell you one thing, that when I was first diagnosed, I did get very, very depressed. And to a degree where I, or to a, a, a point in time where I thought that the world would be a better place without me. And my family would do better without me. But I came to realise that there wasn't anybody helping others like us, like me. <clears throat> so... That was the, the sort of inspiration that I needed to move forward and get out of my depression as it was. You know, I'm so glad that I didn't take that route and I took this route of, of living and took this route of doing everything that I can to make my life better and others around me. Because that inspires me. 
And that's what it's all about, getting out there and making the most of these days that we have given to us. <clears throat> that's what it's all about. So, really, depression, my advice, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I do live with dementia every day. One step at a time, try and look at the good bits. I mean, the sun is shining today, it's good to be alive. Even though I won't remember I've done this video, I'll still remember it's good to be alive. And that's the thing, moving forward. Just trying to live every day as we can. And the best we can, and making the most of it. And that's, you know, do the things that you want to do. Do the things that you enjoy. That's what I do. And, uh, yeah, I think from the outside, people think that I've got a great life, and I'm happy-go-lucky, and everything is wonderful. The reality is very different to that. But that doesn't matter because it's, it's how you deal with these realities that, um, that is key. I hope that answered your question, because I know there's one person in particular who was asking that, and I, I do hope that's answered it, and I do hope that that's helped you to cope a little bit better. So, you know what, the old you, yeah, fine, but, you know, there's always a new one just round the corner. One door shuts, you've just got to open another one. Anyway, we're off tomorrow, filming in Bristol again, I think, for the weekend. So Friday I'm travelling, Bristol weekend, and um, home again. So um, the last little bit of the filming of the channel uh, for production, um, uh, the restaurant that makes mistakes. It's coming out in early March. That'll be something to watch. That'll be something to... I think it's going to open a lot of doors and uh, it's, it's going to make people realise that what dementia is all about. It's going, to, it's going to show people a little bit of dementia from the inside out. And that's, that's very important for people like me to progress forward with our education and raising awareness. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. And I'll be here next week. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions, you know, like I've had in the past, let me know because I'll, I'll do the best I can to answer them. Talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.